Pamela O'Brien with Room Redo. I'm the president and the lead design consultant. I want to show you around our offices and tell you a little bit about the way we work. Come on into my office. This is my desk where I do most of my work. Um, we have a resident Room Redo dog. It's Aston. Come here, Aston. Come here. He's a whippet. Very elegant, very sweet. His name is Aston Martin, like the luxury vehicle. He actually came with that name, but we thought it was great. You know, we make homes and offices more beautiful all over the Houston area. Sometimes we travel when we can, and we love working with our clients. Some of the projects that we do include um, paint consultations. I do lots of work for paint. Even apartment complex owners will call me and ask for help on paint colors. We love doing paint treatments. We do a lot of remodeling right now. I think we're on our third bathroom remodel this year. And I was looking at these beautiful handmade tiles. These are from the Texas Hill Country, but they look like something from Florence or possibly even Venice in Italy. They're really gorgeous. Usually pairing up, helping people pair up different surfaces, like maybe granite or other stone countertops. And also fabric projects. Here's a bunch of beautiful silks that we use to back comforters and duvets where we make lots of drapery panels out of silk and then this is this was from a lovely project too I love this very stunning kind of turquoisey rob, dark robin's egg blue with brown and a great looking tassel so there's all kinds of stuff we can do with that at Room Redo, we're your style and design advocates. We'll make the most of your style, your budget, and your schedule and make sure it works for you. We'd love to work with you, your friends, or your families. Come visit us at www.roomredo.com. I thought it might be fun to share a few of the ideas that I use with my clients that I've actually also done in my own home. Let me show you a couple things in the dining room that can really help maybe create a little style of yours. This is a builder installed chandelier, but it's nice and it's large and it looks grand. We added a nice color, golden shade, which gives it a little bit more softness. And that fun little top treatment actually, seriously, was from Christmas. And I just thought it was so fun, I left it. Anyone can do a few things like that to really spruce up their chandelier. Something else my clients always ask me about is how large should an area rug be? We help a lot of people with area rug selections. This is a good size for a small dining room table. And let me show you something else that's a lot of fun. These are actually my grandmother's chairs, and I'm frankly not that in love with them. However, I still am using them. I haven't bought myself a new dining room, so what I did is I recovered the chairs with something with some real pop and fun. They're rich colors, but they're kind of an updated almost animal print, and I thought it added a lot to the chairs that I was really pretty much ready to not use anymore. Over here, we have a, something that our faux artist did. A lot of us have niches and don't know what to do with them. You might have too many niches. I wanted to do this little Tuscan hillside theme. I always thought it was so pretty to see the hills crisscrossing back. And I got this at a garage sale, believe it or not. It's sort of what we call a Della Robbia style in Italian. Most people find decorating the mantle the hardest thing to do. I think there's two reasons for that. One is they're not sure what to buy, and the second is when they buy things, they tend to buy things that are too small. We do something really fun at Room Redo where we hang a TV over a fireplace, particularly in a traditional home. We like to add a frame to soften it. Everybody loves this frame. Also, when you add your accessories, you don't have to do a lot of accessories. Keep it simple, one or two decently sized pieces. And lastly, what about the fireplace itself? A plain black firebox is not all that beautiful, so make sure you get a really good looking fireplace screen to complement your decor. Before I bought my house, I wanted these bar stools made by an artist in California. I wanted them so badly, but I didn't have a bar. When I got this house with a great bar, which we use all the time, I was thrilled. I got these neat looking bar stools, I reupholstered them in colors that I liked, and notice that we would sit and kick and make a mess out of the sheetrock. This is the solution we came up from my home. We took colors from the area rugs and from the decor. We did an interesting stripe pattern and glazed over them. The glaze means you can wipe things off. It gives it a little bit more of an aged, prettier quality. It stays looking great and it adds a lot of pop when you come right upstairs and see these interesting stripes under the bar. So thanks for visiting with me in my office and in my home. I enjoyed showing you some fun ideas that we've used many times for our clients. 
We'd love to work with you. Visit us at www.roomredo.com and hey, while you're there, sign up for our free design newsletter. We'll send you a great decorating or feng shui tip every week, short, sweet, to the point, and ideas that you will use again and again. We look forward to working with you.